So we're going to use Hill Hardware in the Loop simulation for this. So that you guys can see the difference. So my initial uh, P settings here are 2.5 and I'm using an integral gain of 0 to start with. So 2.5 the integral of 0. Just going to start up uh, flight gear, get my sim going. In the meantime, I'll explain um, what I've done is channel 7, which I've got on this switch here, is actually going to trigger the auto tune. So when I want it to tune, I will flip that switch to the high position. Okay, let's fly. Oh, whoops. <laughs> so I'm going to bring the quad to a hover above the ground. And then I'm just going to show you what the stand, what the 2.5 p gain looks like with uh, for stability, just so you can get a comparison. So I'm going to pitch it right, and you'll see that it oscillates maybe three or four times. Um, so I'll hold it right, and then send it back. So it's decent, but it has a little bit of wobble to it. Um, so we're going to see if we can get that to go away. So this tuning process is automatic, but it's iterative, so you have to kind of introduce error into the loop several times for it to learn uh, what values are better. So I'm going to flip the channel 7 switch up. So now we're in auto-tune mode. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a sideward roll, roll to the right, and then let it try to even itself out here. Okay, so that's iteration number one, iteration number two, iteration number three, do a bigger one there, Okay, now I'm going to do pitch. That's pretty big. Okay, now let's look at what the uh, algorithm turned up. So, looks like for our roll, we dropped down to 2.14, and pitch ended up at a 1.8. So, I'm just going to go back to the sim here. It lowered the uh, lowered the roll p again a little bit. Um, so that's the first try. 
What I'm going to do next is I'm going to start with a higher P value just so maybe that the, this will be a little bit more pronounced. So I'm going to input 3 for my P um, state uh, roll and pitch values, the P gains for roll and pitch. And I'm going to turn the tune mode off so it's probably can't see that but it's in the lower position. And I'm just going to get a little bit bigger of an oscillation. Let's try 3.5. So it's fairly large, and I'll turn tuning on and see what we get. See if we end up at the same same spot after some iterations here. You'll notice that it's starting to soften out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So let's see what we get for roll. Went from 3.5 down to 2.7. See now what happens is is right now I have it set up so it only it only operates in 10% changes per iteration. So you know that's maybe an area for improvement is to based on the size of the oscillation to make a you know a larger adjustment to the p value versus a constant adjustment to the p value per iteration just thinking out loud It's a little bit more noticeable with the pitch because I think of the horizon line kind of bounces around. So that was initially was 3.5 there. After a couple iterations, that one dropped down a whole a whole one value for the pitch p value. I'm tuning these separately. You'll notice I'm doing pitch and and roll separately. So now the pitch dropped from 3.5 down to 2.5. So that's a pretty big improvement. Now if I go back to the sim, let's just do a couple more of these real quick here. I'm going to turn the tuning off. And it dropped it down again to 2.4 this time. So, you know, 2.4. It's not bad. It's getting there. Um, next steps for me is really um, changing, you know, kind of like a proportional change to the p-value per iteration rather than a constant change so that it, it tunes faster essentially less iterations um, and maybe a little bit re better resolution when it approaches a smaller oscillation you would get better resolution then right now I'm just doing 10 percent change per iteration um, so maybe that's an area for improvement there